So before we get into the 10 best demos slash bumps in Rocket League history, I wanted to bring in a professional demolition man. His name is Rocket Sledge. So yeah, it says on your Twitter that you have 19,000 demos. This is what I want to ask you. When you play, are you consciously trying to get demos or is it just how you play? Like, are you just playing your game or are you actually just like going out of your way to get demos? Yeah, so I've always been anti-demo chaser. So that's that's kind of how I framed my tutorials as well. It's always been the focus of when you're doing this, you always have to have, not just in the back of your mind, but your main thought is is your rotation and position. It's it's not, a, yes, it might work lower levels or if you get lucky, but if you're chasing demos, most likely the other team should beat you. So like, what is the benefit of demos? Like what, what does it do to the other team? And like, what are the advantages of it? So low level, I'd say the biggest advantage would be the tilt factor. Cause like so many people are not used to it um, or they think you're cheating or you must be worse than them and so they start retaliating um, when you get to high levels I think you'd I'd say it's the breaking of rotations hmm. of the other team so when you're when you're high level you kind of expect everyone to be in a certain situation let's say you're on defense and I don't even need to look for my other teammates because I expect them to be there and if all of a sudden the goaltender is gone there's that brief moment of time where a good team will capitalize and a high level player is going to be able to hit an open net so I, I think in high levels that's the advantage if you can get in there and get that demo and just especially if it's a really good defensive rotation that might be the only thing that gives you that clear shot. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this one. Make sure to check out Rocket Sledge's YouTube channel. His videos are super well made. And if you're wanting to improve at this part of your game or how demos fit into rotation, make sure to check out his channel. I've put a link to that in the description below if you're interested in that. All right, let's get into the list. Number 10, Scrub Killer vs. Monkey Moon. I'm not sure what's more terrifying, taking on Scrub while he's using the Batmobile or getting demoed by Scrub while he's using the Batmobile. I've noticed something about Scrub Killer when he faces new challengers on stream. He plays super aggressive. Obviously, Obviously, he still uses his classic style of just keeping possession and basically giving you no room. But when he plays someone new, it's more physical. He goes for way more bumps and way more demos. And I definitely think that this is a tactic to make his opponent tilt it. Though Scrub scored multiple demo goals in this series, this is the one that I found most impressive. Honestly though, Scrub had so many demo goals this series, like it's just crazy. And it really showed just how effective bumps and demos can be in 1v1, even at the highest level. Number nine, Rocket Sledge's demo number 18,269. I've put a link in the description also to Rocket Sledge's gift cat if you enjoy watching cars explode. All of his gifts are super well made and I asked him to send me one of his favorite demos and I decided it belonged on the list because it really was insane. For me, it was either this one or the time he got six demos in one minute. Number eight, Scrub Killer vs First Killer. This was a long awaited show match between Scrub Killer and basically Scrub Killer 2.0, the Scrub Killer of today. First Killer came out with his normal aggressive, offensive playstyle, and he ended up demolishing Scrub in the first game. In game two, Scrub came out with a few early demos and bumps, but First Killer led most of the game. Scrub did, however, make a comeback and he ended up winning in overtime. In game three, Scrub really started to dominate and to also play more physical, but game four was where it really got savage. It was awesome because the demos and bumps really signified what Scrub was doing, just sort of powering his way back into the match and running first killer over along the way. It was pretty savage. Oh, the demo play by Scrub. He thought about this earlier. This time he commits to it. That is full savage, first killer. The ultimate punish for passive play. Number seven, the nutty bump goal. I think this is one of the craziest goals I've ever seen. It's just so weird the way his bump creates like a flick that shoots the ball directly into the goal. Maybe the best part about this goal is that it's a complete accident. Like he's literally in car cam and he has no idea where the ball is. He's just trying to knock the opponent out of the way so his teammate can score. And he just ends up blocking the ball, yet somehow scoring it. It's so crazy. Number six, the mid-air demo by Dude with the Nose. Better. There's a few times they're putting it near a defender that can get the save. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, was that demo mid-air? Let's find out. Nose Dude. What? Oh my! What? Talk about sending a prayer. Was he going for the goalie? Was he? Is that what? Is, yeah, he boosted across. I think my favorite part about this clip is that you see it live from Sad Junior's perspective. A lot of times you can't see it coming on these demos, but here it's obvious. And at the same time, there's nothing Sad Junior can do. It's actually kind of terrifying just seeing this dude with a nose flying in out of nowhere.
Number five, Garrett G. Dave right before gimmick laser Fire beams into death. Fireburner with the air dribble. Squishy is oh! demolished by Garrett. Fireburner with the score. And oh my goodness. The moment he knew Fireburner had control of this, he just hunted down Squishy. Squishy even jumped. He caught him in midair. <laughs> just removed him from the pitch and with five seconds left. I think these are my favorite types of demo goals. As a defender, it's so much harder to see this coming than if the person shooting or dribbling just starts chasing you. Like it's so shocking to be going up for a shot and to just explode halfway through your aerial. I think that's part of the reason why we're seeing more plays like this in RLCS. More players are implementing bumps and demos into their rotations because it's such a great way to throw off the defense. Number four, Rizzo's solo demo. This is something you rarely see in RLCS, a solo demo play. This is mainly because there are rarely just open 1v1 plays in competitive 3v3. I really think plays like this show Rizzo's game sense. He knew that he just had one defender to beat and he decided to do something unexpected, which is really the whole point of demos and bumps. Number three, Firewall vs First Killer. If you want to see my take on this entire match, check out my video on the top 10 1v1 matches of all time. Or just go watch the match yourself. Like, it's insane. But the final goal was probably the craziest part. Well, in overtime, fails the flick again. I really think the flick has got to be stopping. What a save! Bill shot saved by Firewall! No way! It was all over! But he pull shots First Killer into a save! And he wins the entire series! This is mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing stuff from Firewall. Well, one of the best for sure. Look at this. Okay, first killer. He must think, I've won. This is it. GG. He failed his flick. Half flip. Boost. Shot. But look at that. Firewall slams him and misaligns first killer's shot. That is genius. Absolute genius. Look at what Firewall does here. He bumps first killer into missing the shot. <laughs> that might be the best save I've ever seen in a show match. Number two, Mystic Bumps Freaky. So big shout out to Freaky for reminding me of this goal. It really takes a man to admit that one of the best demo goals of all time was actually against you. And if you haven't checked out Freaky's stream, you definitely should. I'll put a link to that in the description below. He's pretty hilarious. Anyways, this demo goal happened in the European qualifier for DreamHack Leipzig. And it was game five of the qualifier championship. So the winner of this series had a guarantee into DreamHack Leipzig. So this was a super important game. And here's how the game came to an end. Get the ball past Mystic. We're one minute into this overtime. And so far, no real Mystic. chance. Of Mystic with the bump, and that is gonna be it. Cuxier 97 seals it shut. Flipside tactics are going to Dreamhack. And Mystic with the bumps on Freaky, the double bump. And of course, it ends with a bat. Freaky explained to me how Mystic's approach was such that he literally couldn't do anything. Like, there's nothing he could do but just get completely wrecked. Before I reveal my pick for the best bumps slash demo in Rocket League history, here are a few honorable mentions. Okay, my pick for the best bump slash demo in Rocket League history goes to Bluey in week one of season four league play. This was Frontline's RLCS debut and Bluey's debut as well. Honestly, it was one of the craziest debut performances I think I've ever seen in Rocket League history. We've seen a few mid-air demos and bumps already in this video, but this one for me is just on another level. Like when I came up with the idea for this video, this was the first one that popped into my head because it's just so insane. Whilst the midfield challenges have been good so far, they've struggled to put any Anything dangerous towards the Gale Force level. What a bump! Oh my goodness, you think you've got a save? I'm sorry, my friend, you've only got my car hitting yours. Perfect example of what to do, not an option. Bluey's gonna get up in the air and bump him out of the way. If you think about it, it takes an incredible amount of skill and precision to take out a Rocket League car in this way. Not only is the car unpredictable, unlike the ball, but it's a fraction of the size of the ball. So a bump like this is just crazy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know if there's any that I missed or if you think I should have ordered the list differently. Also, make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Until next time, peace out.